All right, today I'm going to make a pendant light. I'm going to start off by pulling these walls up. I make a lot of these lights for inside homes, above kitchen sinks, dining room tables, your typical pendant light. I pit fire these to get the colors that I like. Um, kind of a subtle color, peaches and reds, uh, a little bit of black from the sawdust burning. Using my larger metal rib there to smooth out the sides. So I've got the pot all finished up, the typical way of throwing it. Now I turn it over and anchor it down, as you can see here. And now I'll be throwing the bottom of the pot to get the shape for the top of it. I learned how to do this. I make these hanging planters and I started doing this about 20, 30 years ago. I had this idea of throwing the bottom of the clay or the pot to um, get a different look for the uh, vessel. Instead of trimming the pot, I can just throw it however I like. So here I'm going to get it down to the domed area for the um, light bulb holder, you could say, which will be held by a chain or, a, or the cord for the light up to the ceiling. So I'm just ribbing the pot, getting it the shape I want. Now I'm going to collar it in a bit. And using my pinky right there to collar it in. Sometimes when I collar, I don't just grab it around with my both hands. I actually pull it to center. Sometimes that's an easier way to collar in. And at the same time, you're getting your pot thinner than just collaring it where it'll make it thick because you're compressing the clay. So I'm going to measure it for the height I need. I need about 10 inches for the height of these. I'm making five of them. Um, the woman that I'm making for needs two, but I'm going to make five just so she can pick um, out of the five for the two that she likes. Since I'm pit firing them, they often look a lot different from each other. So we'll get, try to get two that are similar, more similar. And here I'm just getting it into about the size I want. I grab my needle tool here, yeah, and I'm going to trim it down to the exact size, but I'll probably still keep working on it to make it about perfect. I have the part that holds the light bulb, and as you'll see, I'll stick that in the hole to make sure it's um, the right size. Here we go. So that's about right, but I'm going to keep working on it. Using my metal rib to smooth it out, and there you go. That's perfect right there. I make it kind of big because the clay is going to shrink. And it'll still be slightly loose when it's all finished, but that's fine. There's a big washer that goes on the inside to hold the um, bulb and the bulb holder together on the piece of pottery or the pendant light. Here I finalize it by smoothing it out with some water and I go back with my metal rib, just get any lines or little imperfections out. And I put a slip on these when they're done so that I can pit farm called Terra Sigillata. And that slip will show any like scratches or any marks from throwing. So I really want to work on getting them out and here's the finished product that's about it yeah keep going over a little bit more with the rib and I make a few different shapes but she uh, liked this shape so I like this shape also so there's the finished throne pot and here I'll be showing you the one that I'd already made that she looked at and there's the various colors from the pit fire as you can see and I'll show you a few pictures. I put it inside my house above my kitchen to kind of show it off. But there you go. That's how I make a pendant light pit fired.